Welcome to Parrot Corporation. We're absolutely delighted you chose to become part of our team. You're going to be working with a lot of wonderful people. And what we talk about at Parrot is experience excellence. And when we think about experience excellence for our customers, our employees, and those that are important to us, it comes down to a couple simple things. One of those is safety. Safety. It's up to me. Safety. Safety. It's up to me. 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 Safety. It's up to me. And me. And now we ask that you pay close attention as my good friend Dan McLaughlin talks you through the importance of safety at Peric. The construction industry can be dangerous, but Peric is committed to doing everything possible to eliminate all safety and health related hazards. Of course, you play a major part in this. Remember, safety, it's up to me. If you see any unsafe conditions, which can be easily corrected, fix them. All Peric employees are empowered to correct unsafe acts and conditions that occur on a project. If it's not an easy fix, report it immediately to your supervisor. At Peric, we take safety seriously. That's why we've developed a disciplinary action policy that is a three strike policy. The first strike is zero to two days off without pay. The second strike is three to five days off without pay. The third strike is anything up to and including termination. At any time, Peric can deem a safety violation severe enough to go straight to termination. I think we at Peric approach safety a little bit differently. For us, it's a culture. It's everything we do, everything we touch. Safety is the first thing at the front of our minds. Any Peric employee has the authority to stop work immediately. If you see any unsafe acts performed by an individual or conditions that threaten serious injury or death. As a Peric employee, you must report all injuries to your supervisor, no matter how minor they may be. Now, let's take a closer look at some of the most common problem areas. Make sure all work areas, walkways, aisles, fire exits, and stairs are free from debris. Good housekeeping and proper material storage are important. Material, equipment, and lumber shall be secured to prevent them from being blown from a roof or a high place during a windstorm. Pull nails from material as it's stripped and before it's stored or discarded. Keep your work area clean. This promotes a safer and more productive work site. Your safety and health are the primary concern to us. That's why it's the Peric corporate policy that all places where we conduct business and construction operations must remain drug and alcohol free. At Peric, we practice the highest level of industry standards regarding drug and alcohol testing. We believe that where we conduct our business and throughout our construction operations, it's imperative that we remain drug and alcohol free. There are four occasions when drug and alcohol testing are mandatory. Pre-employment testing, post-incident testing, monthly random selections, and where there is reasonable suspicion. Employees are subject to discipline up to and including termination for offenses such as, but not limited to, using, selling, possessing, or reporting to work under the influence of alcohol, any unlawful controlled substance, or a controlled substance without a medical prescription. Employees testing positive in violation of Peric substance abuse policy will be disciplined up to suspension or termination. We are a very family-oriented company here at Peric. We take our responsibility of building in our community seriously, and we want to make sure everyone on our job sites make it home safe to their families every day. Be careful when lifting things. Size up the load and get help if necessary. Plan your route. Avoid twisting or jerking, and always lift with your legs instead of your back. To ensure a maximum level of safety on each job site, you must understand the use of personal protective equipment, or PPE. Your supervisor will provide the necessary PPE for your job. Hard hats must be worn on Peric job sites at all times. Peric's policies also require 100% eye protection on all our job sites. And in many cases, full face shields will be required by all employees exposed to flying objects and particles during chipping, grinding, air hammer operations, working overhead, handling chemicals, or when welding and burning. Hearing protection must be used on pair of job sites at all times when you're working around noisy equipment or the decibel level is high enough for usage. Generally, if you cannot speak in normal tones to communicate at arm's length, you need to wear hearing protection, such as earmuffs or earplugs. 
they can be obtained from your supervisor. Remember to make sure your earplugs are fitted properly. Peric requires you to wear high visibility clothing at all times on the project and be alert for sharp edges or burrs on material that may be hot from burning, welding, or grinding. Laborers shall wear gloves at all times. Carpenters will wear them when handling material, metal studs, or where other hazards are present. Peric's job site requires sturdy work boots. Leather work boots ankle high are required on all sites. Respiratory protection may be required on some job sites. If you need respiratory protection, please contact your superintendent. What does Peric do differently in safety than anyone else? I believe it's that we believe in it. We know there's no excuses for not doing it. It's not just something we talk about, it's something we do every day, no excuses. Falls are the number one killer in construction, so Peric takes fall protection very seriously. The fall protection policy is at six feet for all operations. Peric prevents falls by the use of guardrails, covers, and restraints. If prevention is not an option, Peric will deter a fall by the use of a personal fall arrest system, a harness, and lanyard with proper anchor points. In some cases, Peric will use fall awareness. This is a warning line. Peric does not allow you to cross a warning line without a positive means of fall protection. Remember, spotters are not a substitute for fall protection. Falls from the same level are also very dangerous and can cause serious injury and possibly death. Always pay attention to where you're going. Be aware of floor transitional areas and keep your shoes clean. Floor openings and holes always pose a risk on construction sites. A hole is defined as a gap two inches or larger. When discovered, be sure they're covered or barricaded to prevent falling or tripping. Label floor covers with the word hole and secure the cover so it can't be easily removed. Make sure everyone will know about the potential danger and any material that could impale someone, such as rebar, form pins, or conduit shall be protected. There are a lot of pressures on the job site, including cost, schedule, and productivity. Uh, but in the end, if someone gets hurt, it makes all those things irrelevant. Proper use of ladders is critical. Remember, extension ladders must be secured from movement. Make sure the top is tied off and extends three feet above the landing. And the bottom should be staked, when necessary, on slippery surfaces. Ladders must have three feet at the top and bottom clear of debris. Whenever you're using a step ladder, always have it in an upright position on a level surface. Lock it in place. If you're unsure, use the warning labels. Never stand at the top step or at the top of the ladder. Always maintain three-point contact. Scaffolding is typically used on every job. It's a valuable tool when you learn the proper way to use it. A scaffold should be fully planked and equipped with handrails, midrails, and in some cases, tow boards. Peric policy on mobile scaffolding is that any scaffold that's as narrow as 40 inches may not be used above six feet, and you must lock the wheels when you're working on it. There's absolutely no scaffold surfing. It's top priority. And when it's top priority, and it comes from everyone in Peric, that culture is instilled in everyone that participates in, in any one of our projects. For every task, you should use the proper tool. When equipment is utilized for its designated purpose, the job gets done correctly. Hand tools, whether company or personal, must be maintained in first-rate condition and will be used only for their design purpose. All damaged or worn parts will be repaired or replaced. This includes the tools themselves when they're burred, battered, mushroomed, or have loose handles. Power saws and other power tools will be operated only by authorized personnel who have received training on the proper use of the tool. Safety guards should be in place and electric cords should be grounded or double insulated. Extension cords shall be three wire type and have a heavy duty rating. All cords shall be free of cuts and abrasions. Cords must be removed from service and replaced when damaged. Most construction sites have a lot of temporary electrical wiring. Exposed or unsafe wiring could result in a serious injury or death. Always be sure temporary wiring is in good condition and it isn't lying on the floor. 
If you suspect a problem with the wiring, report it to your supervisor immediately. At Peric, you are required to use a ground fault circuit interrupter, GFCI, with all power supplies during construction. One of the things I like best that we do here at Peric is by having a family board at the entrance to every job site. Why is that important? Well, I think it's easy to say safety affects everybody, but when you see what each is important to each individual person, whether it's their family, their car, their friends, and not just Peric employees, but all the tradespeople, it really puts a personal connection towards why we're looking out for each other every single day and what we do. Compressed gas tanks need special handling when used and stored. They must be kept in a secure, upright position and separated from each other. Collect oxygen tanks in one group and other flammable gases in another with at least 25 feet between them. A major concern on any job site is fire. Make sure all combustibles are stored in their proper place in a neat and orderly fashion. As you can see, typically a red can is for gasoline, a yellow can is for diesel fuel. Another important thing to denote about these cans is there is a screen inside of the opening of the container. This is typically thought of as a debris screen. This is not a debris screen, it is a spark arrestor. This is to stop any kind of sparks from causing the can to explode. So don't take this out thinking it's a debris screen. Notify your supervisor if you notice any condition or action that you believe to be a fire hazard. And identify the location of the fire extinguishers in your work area and know how to use them. You may come across some very powerful chemicals on the job, some of which can disable you before you can get help. That's why it's important to know the dangers of these hazardous materials and to take appropriate precautions. Most chemicals are well marked. Before you even open a container, be sure to read the labels and follow the manufacturer's recommendations and the safety data sheet, or SDS. Peric work sites have a list of all hazardous chemicals expected to be present. This list will be located in the Peric job site office. It's your right to have access to all safety data sheets. It is also required that all hazardous materials be properly labeled and identified. Please report any containers missing labels or with inadequate information about their contents. Your Peric supervisor will provide on-the-job training and any information you need regarding the handling and use of dangerous chemicals. All excavations require means of egress within 25 feet of your work. Trenches five feet deep or deeper require worker protection, benching, sloping, or shoring. Spoil piles should be no closer than two feet from the edge of the excavation. The proper use and operation of large equipment requires special training, and in some cases, licensing. Seat belts should always be fastened when operating the equipment. No additional employees will be allowed to ride equipment if it does not have an extra seat. Remember, while working around equipment, the operator has limited visibility and may not be able to see you. Never assume the driver can see you unless you have made eye contact. Safe driving is of utmost importance. Whenever driving any vehicle, be aware of your surroundings and fellow employees and pay careful attention to any speed limit requirements. No one except the appointed signal person shall communicate with the equipment operator. One of the most common incidents occurs during equipment backing operations. Make sure you have a signal person when you're backing equipment. Here are some other general safety and health rules related to your projects. Firearms are not allowed on the job at any time. Do not remove, displace, damage, destroy, or carry off any safety device, first aid kit, fire extinguisher, or any other safeguard furnished or provided for use on the job site. Employees shall be alert to see that guards and other protective devices are adjusted and in their proper places. Report deficiencies promptly to your supervisor. No one shall engage in practical jokes, fighting, horseplay, or any other act which could create an unsafe or hostile environment. You must keep 100% of your attention on your work. Herrick prohibits radios, iPods, or MP3 players on the job site. Most importantly, remember to set a good example. Demonstrate safety in your work habits and personal conduct. 
and anticipate hazards that may arise from any changes in equipment or methods. There are causes for all incidents. Be alert and be part of the solution to prevent them. Take the time to correct hazards when you see them. Do it for yourself and for your coworkers. Remember, everyone is responsible for safety on the job site. It's about how we look after each other, how we take care of each other, and how we make sure we work safe. In the end, it's about safety. It's up to me. Safety. 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 It's up to me. 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 Safety. It's up to me. And me.